And you know, the MBTA general manager has been saying that this whole project really hinges on people being patient, and so far, they have been. Late this afternoon, Steve Poftak gave us an update on the progress so far. Things are going pretty well. Uh, we know that we continue to have work to do. We want to emphasize to folks, please continue not to drive uh, around where we are conducting these shuttles. And we also want to acknowledge that we're likely to see higher ridership tomorrow just based on historical patterns. So this doesn't mean that it's been just a breeze for commuters, as we just learned from listening to Zarita, particularly for people who use the green line as well, because part of that was also shut down today. WBZ's Christina Hager picks up our coverage tonight from Somerville. Yeah, David, you know, people still figuring this out. First big day, we had the weekend to have a trial run sort of for the orange line, and now the first day for the green line shut down. And here in Somerville, they have both. So that means double the bus lanes, more bikes on the road, more cars on the road, and in and some more people walking around. In some cases, we found some a little bit lost today. It's raining out, so today is just not a good day. Jamia Jenkins had a tough day. I walked to the train station and then I looked on the app and I realized that I had to go to Foley Street. Which meant a soggy walk to catch a shuttle that replaces the trains now out of commission here in Somerville. Late for class, then late for her job. We do have to go through a lot. People have starting school, work. The commute is just not that great right now. Somerville gets a double whammy. A chunk of the green line from here to Boston out of service starting today. Plus the orange line shut down since Friday, both for the next month. And this is why. Crews under a downpour working at assembly, part of the T's marathon plan to quickly update its aging infrastructure. No, I hate the rain. I hate it. I hate it so much. I can't. That makes things more difficult for everyone, right? Yeah. How much longer did it take you to get to school today? Like two hours. Somerville's mayor also did a test ride, concerned about cars not following bus lane signage and hoping the T is open to small changes along the way. As we get closer to Labor Day and after Labor Day, that they can make adjustments and hopefully, you know, stop the high pressure congestion areas. And she wants to see more signs out here. She also wants to see them in more different languages. She says it's a matter of equity. In Somerville, Christina Hager, WBZ News.